Mic check one two one two. Are we in there like swimwear? I think we are. You better get your sports straight. You better get you better get your sports straight. Look it up. Google it, fool. Google it. Welcome back to a new video. We are out here today. Don't hate the player, hate the game. Yo, don't hate the player, hate the game. Couple days ago, last week, couple, yeah, couple days ago, I don't know, because I've been doing a lot of things in the whole week span. Just been really busy. So I haven't posted videos in a minute, maybe a week, week and a half in the internet times and these times, that seems forever ago but we're getting back into it i just as we're talking right now i haven't uploaded it yet but it's in the bank ready to be uploaded new video out friday that's tomorrow or already passed so this is monday whatever day it is i double dog dare you this to subscribe to the channel and go look back and figure out what i'm talking about because i don't really want to tell you anything except for what's on my mind right now i made a video a long time ago about Sprinkler Skate Park Recreational Center. And it's a place here in Washington and Spanaway slash Parkland area. And it's a skate park. It has baseball fields, uh, a skating rink, a skate park, uh, a, you know, basketball courts. What else does it have? It has a jungle gym for kids. Uh, it has a whole bunch of things for them. And they built the skate park. Long time ago, I used to work at the skate park. So, and I skated there all, I don't know how many years ago. I was still driving Honda Civics. My Honda Civic hatchback. Not Hon Well, I had two Honda Civics, so I could say I was driving Honda Civics. I had an 89 four-door EF, and then I had an 89 hatchback EF. 89 EF hatchback. So at the time, I was driving, ha so I must have been, I don't know how long ago it was. 26, 25, 26. 27 ish area in that zone because I still yeah I was still doing stuff to my car still getting down with it on in the Honda scene doing all that stuff and I was working at Sprinkler and skateboarding there so at the time I was there almost every day skating so the, my my job there when I was working at Sprinkler was in the skate park so I basically got paid to skateboard with a helmet on and a t-shirt that said uh, sprinkler recreational staff and just made sure everybody was doing everything okay whatever i just let everybody do what they wanted and just let them be who they were i made a video years ago about how i said sprinkler is played out and it's overrated and the reason why i said that is because i worked there for a whole season and it's so funny that in Sprinkler they put skateboarding in a season. So I worked there, I don't know, maybe 10 months up until, I don't know, October, November. And they, they decided that skateboarding has a season in Washington. So we're just going to shut down the free skate park. I talked about what I was doing, what I normally do, skating, whatever, whatever. I talked about why it was played out to me is because I worked there. I was there almost every day. And I skated there almost every day. So, once you go to a skate park every day, I had, you know, I skated there some, I got good at the skate park. And at the time, when I filmed this video, my knee, I still have a knee thing going to this day, but my, it was kind of newish, oldish. I was still working out the kinks with my knee. I have a really bad knee injury, ACL, MCL thing. So I have to wear a knee brace. And at the time, I, I, I don't know what was going on, but, the tricks that I was trying, and that the dude, I, the dude left a nasty comment on my video. I deleted the nasty comment off the video, and then I saved the dude's name and I researched the dude. It's 2024. You can research anything. Google it. Got his screenshot, not a screenshot, but I I saved. I copied and pasted his uh, little handle on YouTube. I threw that in YouTube, and I looked him up. I, you know who you know this is stupid kids why the the point is why okay the most people that hate on skaters are skateboarders themselves i've seen this little kid you know who cares you know i skate the way that i want to skate 
because when I was skateboarding and when I grew up skating, skateboarding wasn't about, yeah, there was competitions, but I'm more, you know, build your own obstacle, street skate, you know, go out with your friends, film footage. That's what me and my cousins did. We went out and filmed, went out in the streets and filmed. Yeah, we went to the skate park and stuff, but we didn't really film anything in the skate parks. We just went to the skate park, you know, did tricks in the skate park, skated there, and then went out to the streets and filmed. We might have filmed some stuff in cool skate parks that we never went to, but we didn't really go, and that wasn't our, you know, objective to go skate and film at a skate park nowadays kids are in here training like it's for the olympics because that's what they're doing they're training for the olympics good for them if they want to train for the olympics and competitions good but when i skated when i grew up skateboarding with my friends and family because my family skates too skateboarded for fun we got together skated you know try to do the stuff that we could do learn new tricks have fun just you know with your friends you know try new things go out see who can ollie with me and my our friends used to go out and see how many stairs we could ollie uh, at the time I, at the, to this day i've i've only ollie eight stairs is because that's just the way it is i only jumped down eight stairs after that that's just me it starts t at that time i remember it just started feeling funny on my feet not the board or anything, but just the impact started. It was too much. It was it was a long eight stair, but I'm eh, I'm just saying that we would go out and challenge each other to do better and not hate on each other. Yeah, you clown around. Oh, what do you you know clown around with each other? You know stuff like that. Sit around at the house and you know clown on each other and clown around and be friends about it. But nowadays it seems that there's a bunch of you know skaters hating on skaters for no apparent reason. It might sound funny, I don't like hanging out with skateboarders sometimes. Even though that I'm a skateboarder, I don't like hanging out with skaters because this, I don't know what it is. I, I really absolutely 100% do not want to go to a skate park first of all and for, foremost, maybe to get warmed up, but I'm not trying to go search out the newest skate park in the state of Washington because that's not what I'm about. Most of my stuff is all street skating based or skate curbs. And the reason why I skate curbs is because my knee and I'm up to that, you know, I'm 38 now and it just, I can skate a ledge, but low impact stuff and just having fun with your friends and going out there and, and filming and just seeing, cause I like to film my stuff. Obviously I talking to you through a lens right now, but I, I've always, I went to school for it. I've always just like filming myself and going back home and watching it. Watching myself, watching what I have done and watching what I pro progress. And when you're a kid, you're watching skate videos. You always wanted to do what you saw in the skate videos. So you go out, get a camera and go film whatever you can. Go back home, put it together and edit it. Make a little part, a little skate video with you and your homies. Little homie videos. That was the funnest thing ever in the world was to skate and make little homie videos. But now, like Instagram, Facebook, and all that stuff, YouTube and all that stuff, I've changed my whole style of skating when um, after I hurt my knee. So I do a lot of no complies, a lot of fast plants, a lot of bean plants, and a lot of finger flips because it's just the way... It makes me feel uh, I like it and I feel comfortable doing it and I figure it out that way that works for me in skateboarding and that's the way I'm going to do it. And then you have these kids sometimes and they're 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 kids that like to like to talk and and leave bad comments and do all this other stuff and when they're just half ass sorry half assing it in high school and everything you just always Oh, you know, those are skate. Oh, you're a skater, so you must do this and this and this. No, I don't do this and this and this. I like the skateboard. I'm, I like to listen to punk rock music, but there's that stigma of, oh, you must be a hardcore drug addict. You must do this and that and that just because you skateboard. That was the stig that that was back then. Now it's more, you know, mainstream and people look at it more of like a sport. It's a sport to a degree. So. What was I saying earlier was, yeah, do your X Games, 
do your street leagues, do your ex. Uh, I said ex. Do your Olympics, and then you know the street skating and that stuff is more of an art form. Go skate the ledge how you want to skate it. The dudes that were com- like the d- dudes on the on the, that were leaving the comments and stuff. Like, oh, you could barely fifty fifty, and you're talking whatever, whatever, bro. I could. I'm posting a thing on Instagram today. I fifty fifty better than you can. I guarantee it because I have I do it all the time. My girl, <laughs> I skateboard. I, I try at least try to skate at least two days a week. I'm busy. I'm a grown man. I live on an acre and a half. I have a garden outside my back yard I, that looks like a farm. Um, I have a track. I have two tractors. You know, I live in I live in this world where I live in the country, but I live about. 10 minutes away from the city and when I was younger I grew up in the city I moved out here to get away from the people from over there I grew up I grew up even skateboarding we grew up in the streets I grew up around people one of my best friends addicted to drugs he was my best friend that lived that I used to skate with lived down the street from my house guess what he got addicted to drugs he could have done something because he built all of our ramps the whole street was like a skate park the whole street that we skated on was like a skate park he had the knowledge and everything to build these ramps really good but guess what he got addicted to drugs a couple of my good friends that did all this hip-hop music that we went to high school with they died because of gang violence they died because of the colors they were wearing they died because of what they represented and it's not their fault it's the way they grew up that's what happened a lot of a couple of my friends went to prison for Uh, you know just the environment they were in and that's all they had to do so all these kids all these little little kids that think they're super cool and leaving these comments oh whatever uh, you know I don't know it's just they haven't lit they're on their keyboard worrying they're keyboard warriors keyboard worrying yeah that's what they do they 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 don't go outside they watch you know YouTube and they watch all these videos and they put all this, oh, you, you you have to skate like this, you have to dress like this, you have to do this, you have to do that. You don't have to do any of that stuff. You can go outside and go have fun with your skateboard. If you want to jump on your skateboard and go bomb hills, and that's all you want to do, go do it. Who cares? You know what? Skate the way that you want to skate and what skate the way that makes you feel good and makes you feel happy. If every everybody, I feel this is my opinion, then you could run with it. I feel like nowadays, these days, everybody is a lemmings. I've said this multiple times, and I've it's an old computer game for Macintosh back in the day, and there's these little moles in the lemmings. They're little moles, and they look, 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 they look like little miners. So they're mining their way out to go out the top. They're underground, and they got to go out the upground to the over there and that's the premise of the game is to get from underground to the top of the field and then if you fall off everywhere all these other lemmings will follow you so if you if you're trying to be a follower but you and or if you're trying to be a leader and you're trying to have these people follow you and you're leading them off a cliff or leading them the way that you don't want to you know leading them the, the wrong way or the wrong path or something like that it's just stupid to me that nobody nowadays is an individual and think for themselves. They always have to have validation from somebody else. And they always, oh, oh, you only skate curbs, bro. Oh, you only, you only, you, why, you, you can only, you only do finger flips. You don't, you don't, uh, do regular, you know. Oh, you skate like Mike V. Fuck, that's cool, dude. That's so cool that you, you're trying to clown, but guess what? You compared me to Mike. That happened before. Compared me to Mike V. Sick, dude. What do you do? Where, where? If you compare me to these people, you say I can't do this stuff. Where's your footage? And where's all the stuff that you skate? Where's the stuff that you skate? And where's your footage at? You know, nobody. The people that leave the comments like that are the people that can't do it. They're afraid to put themselves out there. They have no confidence. They don't. They don't have, you know, the confidence in themselves. They always have self self doubt about themselves. They care about what other people think of what they look like, how they act, and what they do. You know, oh, 
you know, oh, you, you go to that skate shop, bro? Oh, what? why don't you go over here to this one? Clicky, click, clickerson, click stuff. We don't care. I'll go to whatever skate shop I want to go to, and 95% of the time, there's one skate shop that I go to now, but back in the day, like a couple years ago, I was just buying my stuff offline, and it's gonna happen again. www.forevercrusaders.com. I'm gonna. Ha I have it. I have it all. T-shirts. We're gonna put skateboards on there. We. I have everything from the YouTube channel to music to everything. Where are these kids at that do everything? that I'm doing out here. Like we're in the studio right now. Behind you there's a st st music, MPC, record player. Right over here, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a booth with a microphone. Get in there and sing a song, write a song, do something, be creative. Instead of just being on your computer, leaving these weird ass comments when you don't have the footage or anything to back it up. Yeah, who cares if I wanna go 50-50 everything? That's what I like doing. Can you do it? Can you 50-50 a whole curb? That whole curb downtown on the last video. Grinding the whole thing. Uh, Nolly no complied finger flip out of it. Can you do that? I don't think so. These are the questions that I have that need to be answered. Why do skaters hate on skaters? And why does it seem the younger generation is always out here trying to think they know it when they don't? I've been around the block. I've seen whatever you've seen or talking about I already did I already did it oh you're wearing baggy clothes and tall tees now oh we did that in 2002 bro we did that before you were even born that's the one thing if you were born I don't, I don't want to get into it but certain things at certain topics that I don't want to talk to people about because what year they were born because they don't know they don't know these some of these kids don't even know who Chad Muska is some of these kids don't even know who um um, you know, the whole Shorty's team is. They don't know who Brandon Turner is. They don't know any of these people. They don't know who Steve Olson is. They don't know any of these people. I'm just saying that as an example, but they don't know. They don't they don't go do they don't go look for if they they want to skate and they want to do all this stuff and they portray that they're this and they don't they don't go look at what they need to go look up and look at the people that started this and realize that skateboarding started in the streets and yeah there was ramps and everything but my style of skateboarding started in the streets not at the skate park and there's always this where these people just want to put you in this zone and you know they just ah uh, put you in the zone but you don't want to get put in a zone you want to be individuals so if you're gonna if you're gonna build build a skate park or do all this stuff with skaters cater to everybody you know not everybody likes skating big ass ramps not everybody likes skating transition big ass ramps and transition same thing so if you're gonna do a DIY spot do it for everybody don't cater don't cater to one two or three people yeah we're not we don't want to go skate gnarly transition some people just like skating curbs and ledges and and getting technical and flipping their board and jumping downstairs you know have zones okay have a skate park just with a big ass half pipe have a skate you don't have to do it all i'm saying diy spots you don't have to do put it all in one area but have the one area boom bam you know and then have another area at another zone at another location in this city and have it have the park just like the one park but they kick they build stuff at that what is it candle park they built stuff at the candle park for skateboarding but they built it too close to the jungle gym for the kids so you can't skate there it's these idiot people that work with the city and then the idiot people that work for the city don't comprehend oh we're gonna build this here for skaters or anything bikes whatever rollerblades get on it because the, all the ledges in that area have metal coping on them or you know the the coping on the ledges so it don't get messed up I skate yeah maybe a small little half pipe like a mini ramp like we have at Foss that skate park that skate park to me is the best skate park but don't try to put everybody in the zone of oh we're gonna build a skate park 
but we're only going to build transition. Oh yeah, try gnarly transition, but I'm not in the gnarly transition. I don't want to do that. I want to skate. I know people that are like that too. We just, I, I don't know. It's just old. Like we're not, we're not, I was born in the eighties, but the people that were before, before me, born before me skated that stuff. I don't skate that stuff. I know people that don't like to skate transition at all. So why build these things and why have these kids talking mad online crap that they can't back it up and then you go to their YouTube page or their ins there's this <laughs> stupid. It's stupid. They don't they don't have the time or the consistency of the uploads and basically it's not all it's not skating. If you know if you can't walk the walk, don't talk the talk. You see what I'm saying? At least I have the confidence in, in myself. Some people may call it cockiness, but I have the confidence in myself to put myself out there. Most of these people that leave these crazy comments on everything don't have the balls to put anything that they want online because again, they are stuck in have thinking, oh, if you know Tyrone don't like what I if he doesn't like what I like I can't like it they're not individuals they've got there's they're they're not they're not original they're not individuals they're uh like I said in the they're lemmings just sick and tired of people doing things that doesn't make sense and culture vulching off of the the street culture around here where I live and doing collaborations with people that don't skateboard. Do collaborations with people that skateboard. Do collaborations with stuff that actually benefits a cause. Unless they hopped on your back to help you or help. This is what my, cause I really got, I'm not gonna say names, but I really got upset with this because they are culture. These people are culture vultures and they just lock on and do stuff in skateboarding and other things too and but i never see him around town that's the thing i never see him around town at all i skateboard around town every weekend i don't see these people out nowhere if they're really about the skateboard skateboarding culture and, and trying to put their stuff and do collaborations with people that own skate shops go out there and show people that you actually do skate film some stuff get some stuff out there the next door neighbor is mowing the lawn for a parent some parent reason while well, i'm out here in the studio that's okay though but i'm just saying there's people out there that are, i don't know if they're jumping on the people's backs to gain traction for themselves or the people that own the shops see these people that think they're cool but they got brainwashed somehow and they saw them, oh like you know whoops wolves and sh sheep's clothing oh they're they're these people they might help us nah posers bro they're all pose that's my opinion they're posers they're posers and when i talked to somebody about it we talked about it because they put they made all these hoodies and sweatshirts about z stuff in tacoma and it was all wrong <laughs> i don't want to get into it but I'll, I'll get into it one day because i don't want people to think that i'm, I'm bashing on anybody but i'm not bashing on nobody i'm just speaking the truth because one of the spots that they put that said it was Tacoma. It's not. The building is actually the the building that they put that said, oh, Tacoma is the address is actually Lakewood. So don't hate the player, hate the game. Sorry for this rant and rave, but that's what I wanted to talk about today. If you have anything or any input about this, if your city or wherever you live, you know, skaters hating on skaters, why can't anybody just get a get along these days or people keyboard being keyboard warriors this leaving comments and you go look at their stuff and it's not even relevant to what you're doing i just need to know these things or we me and you as a person people children human beings need to know these things so we're out here every monday and friday and every day in between i double dog dare you to hit that subscribe button I want to